Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new video. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Nadine, a stay-at-home mom of two little boys aged 5 months and 4 years. So in today's video, first of all, I just need to put out a disclaimer like in the beginning of my video, I am by no means a professional, a nurse, a pediatrician or a doctor and all of this information was just given to me by my doctor referring to my son who is now 5 months. So to start the video, I just get some squash, butternut and I start cutting them. Everything is really standard, pretty easy. I literally use boiling water and cinnamon and salt and place them all into a pot. And I let that cook until it is nice and soft. Our year Chase is just asking me about the butternut. Um, he is not a veggie eater, so he does sort of enjoy butternut for one, but that's about it. So I will check in with you guys when we go. This video is kind of standard, you guys probably don't want to hear my annoying voice the whole, the whole video through. So I will pop in at the next slot. Okay, moving on to the next part of our video, I'm just using my stick blender that I got at Clicks exactly almost four years ago with Jay's. I'm using that and I'm adding a little bit of the nutrient water in which the veg is cooked and I am just pureeing that. You'll see it becomes a nice thick consistency and then I will go in and add a little bit more of that water. That just helps keep all the nutrients inside the veggies and basically I do the exact same with the butternut. So I do show you guys how I store this or the way I store it. So keep watching for that. I do also clean my stick blender in between. Um, you don't have to but I feel like I like using it when it's clean and as you can see the consistency is not too thick, it's not too thin and that's more or less the consistency we like. Then I go in and I do the exact same thing to the butternut. Make sure all the cinnamon sticks are out and yeah, the smell of the cinnamon sticks in this butternut was amazing. Um, I think cinnamon is like my favorite smell. So yeah, I just do the exact same thing with this, with the butternut.
so finally at the last part of this video all the dirty work is done and here we go so his leo's nurse told me that i can give him one tablespoon of puree every day and each week i would add another one so with week one i gave him one tablespoon and therefore you'll see me using one tablespoon and what i would do is i would then um, store it in a ice tray and I know that when it comes to week two that I need to take out two cubes. So it's just more easy for me to remember that way. And basically that's how I store it. And then these are made already. That is broccoli and carrot. And I like to freeze it separately so once it goes in the Ziploc bags, they're all frozen and they don't stick together. They don't stick together, which is so much easier to do. I found that it's super easy. I literally just pop one out and let it defrost naturally. And then by the time Leo wakes up from his nap, then his lunch is ready. So this week he was only eating one. And even though I found out that he was supposed to eat one, sometimes he wouldn't even eat one whole cube. He would eat about half, sometimes not even that much. I also found that when storing it's best to write the contents and when you made it so you'll see me doing that after I pop all this in the bag um, so in this bag I've got the butternut and the broccoli and then in the other bag I've got the, the carrots and the squash um, it just makes it easy for me to know what I use thank you guys so much for watching this video and stay tuned